Animated story time, guys. Welcome back. Nice that you're here with me. Baby Melman is here as well. Um, I hope you're good today. My name is Mats. Um, let's go. Have a drink. Have a snack. Let's go. Hi, I'm Marianne from a small town in Austria. What's a up? few years ago, Austria. I okay, you're they're talking German in Austria, and I'm German. Hallo, wie geht es dir? Abonniert meinen Kanal. I just said, hey, how are you? Please subscribe my channel. Accidentally discovered that I'm adopted, and my dad doesn't know I know. Since then, all I've wanted is to find my real parents. Before I continue, please like and subscribe. I never knew my mom, but I grew up with the most amazing dad. He worked as a carpenter, and even though we never had much money, I had everything I needed. And what I needed most were books. Dad would read to me every night, and I This became obsessed. When I joined school and discovered the library, I felt like I'd gone to heaven. And I always preferred my friends from stories over real people. Once in sixth grade, I needed to use the dictionary, so I went to Dad's room and climbed a stool to take it down from the shelf. Just then, the stool under me wobbled, and I went crashing to the floor with some books. As I started picking everything up, I saw something that left me shook. Mm. It was a picture of a couple holding a baby, and the woman looked exactly like me. She had to be my mom, mm. and the man next to her was my real dad? I turned the picture over, and all it said was, Vienna 2005. That was my birth year. Mm. Were my real parents in Vienna? I snuck the picture into my pocket. Dad had kept it a secret, and I had to know why. I was waiting to confront- Yeah, I think it's really hard to notice that you're like adopted but actually after time you recognize that you're like she has a really really nice stepdad and it doesn't matter if like is if he has the same blood or if he is like the real real father i think they love each other it feels like he is the father and um i think it shouldn't change anything after that of course she has to know this message and now she knows and in the first place it's like is shocking news but i hope it won't change anything yeah in their rela relation yeah dad that evening but he didn't come home hours passed and he wouldn't even pick up his phone just then there was a loud knock on the door and it was dad's friends from work bringing him on a wheelchair no oh my god dad what happened he'd had a terrible fall at work and wasn't allowed to walk for months And even after he fully recovered, he had a permanent limp now. Mm. I put aside all thoughts of confronting him about my real parents. I didn't want to make things harder for him. Once in the eighth grade... Yeah, of course. He's exhausted now. He has, like, enough problems for himself. So she doesn't want to make a new problem out of her adoption. So she doesn't talk about that fact. But maybe that's good. There is maybe someday the right moment where they can talk about that. And as I said already, I hope that won't change anything. I'd gone with dad to the market when suddenly he got a cramp in his leg and lost his balance. He went crashing straight into a wealthy looking man who in turn fell onto a food seller stall, bringing down the whole thing with him. As I helped dad up, the wealthy man turned to him furiously. You blind, ignorant man. Look what you've done. My Bro, that can happen, man. That can happen. He is a limp. Huh? His suit is ruined. Do you know what it costs? More than your house, I'm sure. Bro, no reason to be arrogant now. Yeah? Don't talk to my father like that. Yeah. He didn't do it intentionally. He has an injured leg. So why is this cripple going around causing trouble for everyone else? I want the money for my suit. You may have all the wealth in the world, sir, yeah. but you sir- And what is with the suit? You can wash it and then it's fine. There is, this is not a real problem. And if there is something, you, had, you have enough money, bro. It can happen to anyone. He's like injured. I hate these kind of people, yeah? Certainly don't have any compassion. My father's ailments is something he can't help. But what's your excuse for your cold, unfeeling, dead heart? Hey, kid, just shut up and- But just then, a rich-looking lady stepped forward. Don't talk like that to the child. Will this solve your problem? She waved a thick bundle of cash in his face. In two seconds, the man's anger was gone. The rich lady even gave money to the stall owner, and she offered to take me and dad home. We invited her in, and soon after, she said something completely unexpected. 
I'm so impressed with you, Marianne. And this might sound strange, but would you like to come live with me in Vienna? I would love to send you to a really good school. Vienna? That's where my real parents were from. What is her mission? She says just stealing another man's kid or what? <laughs> okay, maybe the man can go with her, but this is crazy. Or does she want to separate them? I don't know. Guys, we make the shout out for today and this video shout out goes out to the comment. Beverly Rogers, thank you very much for your kind comment. Um, if you want to get a shout out in the next video, just uh, subscribe my channel and write a comment down below. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Um, this was my chance to look for them. She even said she'd hire dad as a handyman on her estate. I was really eager to go. And within a week, we'd packed up our lives and moved. The ladies With a stranger woman? This is very risky. But when they do not have to lose anything, why not? Estate was five times... And they have like a big house now because they don't have that much money. So it's a nice opportunity. But what is the background? What does she... What does the woman want from them? It's larger than my school. And dad and I were given a small cottage to live in. And just mm -hmm. a few days later, the lady told me I'd be joining her daughter's school. On my first day as I walked up to the lady's car, a girl suddenly mm -hmm. pushed me aside. Ooh, maid, where do you think you're going? Go clean something. Where are- Maid? The daughter thinks she's the maid cleaning their house, doing stuff for them. Okay, I'm very curious what the mother uh, say, says now. Are your manners, Lisa? Yeah. This is the amazing girl I told you about, and I'd like you two to be friends. Oh, she's your charity case? She looks like her only friends would be cows and baby goats. And what is so distasteful about being friends with such lovely creatures, may I ask? Mm -hmm. Uh, no. You may not ask me anything. Who talks like that, freak? She got in and slammed the door shut. Jealousy, I just jealousy. She's a single child, spoiled as hell, and now there is another kid and another girl so she's jealous because she wants everything for her own yeah of course people don't like changes especially like spoiled kids just stayed silent during the ride but then suddenly lisa made the driver stop i'm not gonna be seen with you you can walk the last few blocks she pushed me out and drove off what a witch yeah. just as i was crossing the road a sports car came speeding and stopped inches away from me a cute boy stepped out from the back seat and shouted hey Watch where you're going, loser. Wow, who were these people? Turns out the jerk was in my class along with Lisa. I could see them all looking me up and down, but I just ignored them. Such judgy people, come on. Just be kind, respect for anyone, everyone. Like, just have respect. He doesn't even know her, he called her loser. Later at recess, I sat alone reading. The boy mm. took a seat at my table with his friends behind him. I don't think I introduced myself before. I'm Vincent. What's your name? You can call me whatever you like. After all, what's in a name? Huh? What are you saying? Would a rose smell less sweet if it was named garbage? Would a fire not burn us if it was called a flower? Would I be less annoyed by you if my name wasn't Marianne? The answer is no. Why are you talking like that, weirdo? So, your name's Marianne? That's kind of pretty. You don't need to remember it. I don't think we'll have much to do with each other. And with that, I just left. Aw, <laughs> poor Vincent. How does it feel to be rejected by a girl? Oh, please. I just need a little time with her, and she'll be head over heels in love. I can work my magic on any girl. <laughs> well, I'm not so sure about this one. Challenge accepted. <laughs> it was no surprise that Vincent and Lisa were best friends and their gang was the meanest bunch of kids around. <laughs> I'd see them picking on smaller kids at recess or poking fun at their classmates. They didn't even spare the teacher. And of course, smaller kids. Because they are weaker. So I was horrified when the physics teacher announced that I'd be paired with Vincent for a project. Hmm. But he looked delighted. But maybe, just an idea, maybe they they will like each other yeah in the beginning often it's hard because they don't know each other but when they have like a group work together now i think they will like each other i tried ignoring him and was reading the science book to figure out something when suddenly he snatched it from me why are you always staring at a book when you could be looking at more beautiful things like me i don't have time for your nonsense vincent mm. give that back okay but only if you agree to go out with me i'd rather jump off a cliff wrong <laughs> 
<laughs> Answer. And with that, he ripped some pages out and threw the book in the trash bin. This is blackmailing. What is the matter with you? It's her free will if she wants to go out with him or not. And I do not even care. It's it's like for him just a game, just a challenge that he wants to go out with her. Of course she, she rejects him because he was like very disrespectful in the first place. Don't you have any respect for anyone or yeah. anything? God, you're such an imbecile. Mm. Why do you use such strange words? <laughs> an imbe Because she's smart. She's reading a lot of books. So of course she has like better words than you, bro. Im in the what what now? An imbecile. It <laughs> what, what? means a fool, an idiot, a dummy, a moron. I pushed him away and he went crashing into our half-finished project, but hmm. I didn't even care. There was no way I was working with him. A few days later, I was walking back home when suddenly it started to pour heavily. As I dashed through the rain, a car stopped me and Vincent rolled down the window. Hey, you're gonna get sick. Get in the car. I'd rather catch pneumonia. Oh my god. Just get in. <laughs> oh my god. Just get in. <laughs> Hit me later. Reluctantly, I got in. And a minute later, we were driving up to his gigantic mansion. Oh. He quickly led me to the Lamborghini fireplace mansion. in the library. And my mouth was just <sighs> wide open. I, I've never seen so many books in one place <laughs> it's her personal paradise in my whole life what a treasure this is well you're welcome to take some i don't read them and my parents are hardly ever here i felt a bit sorry for him that sounded lonely and suddenly i remember this is like the other side of very successful rich parents they're very very busy traveling all around the world so they do not have that time for their kids heard something <gasps> oh my god my parents picture I dug through my pockets to find it all wet and I started flapping it around to dry it. What's that and why are you acting crazy? It's, well, it's the only picture I have of my real parents. I told him how I discovered it and that I carried it around with me, hoping I'd find them somewhere. She's telling him very, very secret secrets. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know if that's a good idea because he's best friends with Lisa. <sighs> and then they have another reason to to bully her like she's you're adopted you're adopted mm, i don't know if that's a good idea uh you should keep it for yourself i guess i think i could help you with that my parents know a good private investigator he could probably track them down do you really mean that that would be amazing thank you so much as we spent some time talking, I felt myself warming up to Vincent. Mm -hmm. When he walked me out- As I said, I'm watching too much story animated, so I just know what happens. To go home with his driver, I suddenly turned to him. Vincent, why do you act that way in school? What do you mean? I mean, you have everything in the world and you're wasting every opportunity to learn. And all- Yeah, and you're bullying someone. You have such a good life. I don't understand. You do is tease and mock other people. Yeah. I'm sure your life isn't perfect, but that's not an excuse to be the worst version of yourself most of the time. Mm -hmm. I thought he'd be really mad. Yeah, that's, th this is deep. You should listen to her. But instead, he took my hand. I'm sorry you've only seen the worst of me. I'll try to change that. Okay, maybe he's a good guy. Yeah, maybe um, he will change now. He kissed me on the cheek before he turned away. And for some reason, I couldn't stop smiling all the way home. Mm. As I was walking down to the cottage, Lisa suddenly jumped out from behind a tree. Is that Vincent's car you just got off from? Why? It's none of your business, Lisa. Mm. Vincent is very much my business. I know you have a wild imagination, but don't start dreaming. You can ask him if you like. Dreaming that someone like him could ever- When he's your friend, you can just ask him and not her. You're just jealous. Or like you. I pushed her aside and walked off. She was crazy, as if I wanted someone like Vincent. Or did I? He was just so nice after that day. Yeah. He'd come sit next to me in the cafeteria, help me carry- But is he serious or is it just a game, a challenge for him? I hope he's serious. My stuff. And one time as I was walking back home, he leapt out of a car and decided to walk with me. He told me the investigator was hopeful we'd find my parents really soon. And a few days later, when he asked me to be his date for the Christmas dance at school, I really couldn't refuse. Dad had surprised me one evening with the most beautiful dress. And at the dance, I felt like someone straight out of a fairy tale. I was searching for Vincent in the hall when I felt a gentle tap on my shoulder. 
Wow, you look really beautiful, Marianne. He took my hand and led me to the dance floor, and it felt like we were in our own little world. At the end of the- But I have still one question. Why did the woman adopt a father and the daughter? Just that, like, her father is the handyman for her? Like, the per personal handyman? Or a gardener or something? But she, because she wanted her. Ah, there was, like, a word. I don't know. The song, he suddenly pulled me closer and leaned in to kiss me. Everyone around us was clapping and cheering as I kissed him back. During the evening, I went to freshen up in the bathroom, and when I returned, I found Vincent in a corner with Lisa and his friends. Wow, Vincent, you really take a challenge seriously. You said you could make any girl fall for you, and you proved it. That kiss could have fooled even me. Marianne has totally fallen for your Prince Charming act. It's gonna be- Ah, okay, in the first place it was just a challenge for him, but I think he likes her, actually. It's so much fun when you dump her. That's what I was? A challenge? Vincent looked shocked as they all turned around to see me behind them. No, Marianne, wait, it, it's not what you- I suddenly slapped him hard. Why did I think you were actually- a mm, No, I think he actually likes her. He has to explain now. <laughs> decent human being. You even pretended to help me find my parents just to convince me that you cared? You're the most vile person I've had the misfortune to meet. I hate you. No, I despise you. <gasps> despise. <laughs> another, another smart word from her lectures. I didn't go to school for days. I just didn't want to see anyone's face. But one day, Dad walked into my room holding a package. A boy from your school dropped this, saying it was important. Forgive me for opening it first, but Marianne, you've known about your parents and you've been looking for them? Wait, what? Dad, I'm sorry, I just needed to know. He gave me the package as he sat down on my bed, and I looked through the papers with trembling hands. The first was a newspaper clipping, saying my parents were politicians who had been sentenced to prison for 25 years for stealing state funds. Really? Oh my gosh, some criminal politicians. Yeah, okay, then it's better that she is like in another family. Crazy. I worked. Imagine to find that out after years of your real parents. At your parents' house. When they were arrested, you were going to be sent to an orphanage. And I just really wanted a kid, so I adopted you, Marianne. I kept the truth from you because I thought it would only make you upset. I'm yeah, of course. Of course. Some facts just make people upset, but life is not only good news. So I think they deserve the truth. So even if it's not a good news, a negative news, people always have to know the truth. You know what I mean? I'm sorry if I ha haven't been the best dad. I jumped forward and hugged him. Or maybe later. Maybe he wants to tell her later when she's like older and she can understand it better. Because as a kid it's very very difficult and it can be very traumatizing to give that news to your kid. Yeah, it's like a, I don't know, in school and they're rebellious and they have like a difficult situation in their life, like in general. And then they have the news that they're like adopted, then it's really hard, so yeah. So I think a lot of adoption parents, they decide to tell the kid later when she's older. But I don't know what is the perfect age. And tears pouring down my face. No, you're the most amazing dad anyone could possibly- Perfect, that's, that's exactly that what I mentioned in the beginning. I hope they, she won't change anything. We have, them. I just wanted to know who they were, but it's not because I've ever been unhappy with you as my father, not ever. Dad hugged me back. If you ever want to see them, I'll arrange a visit, okay? It won't bother me at all. I know you're my daughter. By the way, that boy just left if you want to talk to him. I ran out the door after Vincent, who was walking down to the gate. Why did you do that? Your stupid challenge was over, right? Why did you make an effort to find my parents? Marianne, it did start off as a stupid challenge. And I wasn't planning on falling for you. Yeah, and it's obvious, I guess. I hope she she forgives him and uh, she believes him now. But I did, almost instantly. What I feel for you mm -hmm. is real and true. And this is honest now, why should he lie? I wouldn't have made all that effort if I didn't love you. You're the most special girl I've ever met. And you make me want to be a better person. I'm so sorry for hurting you. Please forgive me, will you? 
I looked into his earnest eyes and slowly smiled. I'd rather go down with the Titanic, but I stepped closer and pulled him in for a kiss. Mm -hmm. Cute story, guys. I hope you enjoyed it as well. Write in the comments if I should do more MSA videos. Yeah, write your opinions in the comments. Tomorrow will be the next upload. I, I upload daily. It's a, it's a real grind, guys, but I will do it. And yeah, thanks for watching. My name is Mats. We are the Hey Squad, best community in the world. Subscribe. If you haven't done it yet, you can do it here. And here are the other videos. Thanks and see you tomorrow.